Whoa, what in the world was that? An earthquake or a nightmare? Wild monsters attacked me, and the earth shook. Press the action button to scroll through dialogues or to end them. Use the appropriate buttons to rotate your field of view in a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. This should... Good morning, Melvin. Have you finally woken up? Oh no, that was no dream. I would say it was a slight earthquake. I noticed it too. But at least it got you out of bed, you sleepy head. You're like your father. Sleepiness seems to be a typical steamer characteristic. <sighs> I'm really happy I managed to teach you a couple of dreamer skills as well. But now you should get on your way to your Uncle Rissen's druid cell. Your work awaits you there, and I'm sure Rissen knows more about the quake. There's a notice on the door. Melvin, as I no longer wanted to wait for you, I have gone ahead into the wood to collect mistletoe. I will be back at about five. Your Uncle Rissen. There's a notice on the door. Melvin, as I no longer want... Have you been to your uncle's? Tell me, you half-dreamer. Are you trying to pull an old man's leg? I've got far better things to do than answer your stupid questions. Well, yes, the earthquake was a great shock to all of us here. But luckily, no one was seriously hurt. Apart from a few broken plates and cups, there wasn't any damage to speak of in the whole of Dreamertown. Nevertheless, the wise council advised everyone that for the moment, no one should leave the city. The city gave... that Bacchus and I had a few too many drinks yesterday. I think I slammed the door and somehow I must have shut Bacchus in the side room. Now, unfortunately, I can't find the key anymore. I do remember, though, that I stumbled through the bushes near the crumbling city wall before the guard steered me home again. Oh, it could be that Bacchus and I had a few too many drinks.
I won't play with anyone who can't do magic pro- 